Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over two position three way valves. Uh, and as indicated by the name of them, they have <clears throat> two positions and three ports. And there's a couple advantages to using these <clears throat> in your QEV setup, and I will describe those in detail now. So anyway, as you can see, I have four different valves here in total. Um, they all more or less do the same thing besides this one. I will describe this one by itself in detail here in just a moment. Um, and they come in a variety of ports, sizes. Uh, these two are eighth inch NPT. These two are quarter inch NPT, and you can find them in three eighths and half inch, and you can also find them in BSP thread and all that fun stuff. Um, <clears throat> for this demonstration, these two are more or less the same exact valve. Uh, however, this one has a trigger assembly mounted to it, and this one does not. And I actually need to be, I need to make a trigger for this, which I will be doing. Um, and I'm sure you'll see this one at some point with a, uh, with a finished trigger system on it later. So for the time being, we'll move this one out of here and we'll concentrate on these three. Um, and in fact, I'll pretty much be concentrating on this one and this one. These two valves are more or less the same, they're just different sizes, but the concept behind how this one works is going to be exactly the same as this one. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, as I said before, two position and three ways. So, pretty much what that means uh, is there are three ports on this. Here's one, here's two, and the third one is here, uh, and I have a silencer in it currently. Um, but there is a port there and then so that's your three ways and then the two position Just refers to the fact that right now it's in position one and when you depress the lever then it's in position two um, What happens here is there is a shaft which runs down this uh, the body of the valve and there are some Ways I would call channels that are machined into the shaft that when you depress the lever uh, or activate the trigger, as I'll show you in this one in just a moment, <clears throat> it just changes uh, the, how the air or fluid can flow. Um, the advantage of using one of these in a QEV gun or uh, air bow or whatever you're designing is that you can have multiple shots out of one reservoir, depending on how you do things, and I will show you how to do that here right now um, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna describe a little bit about how exactly this works uh, just in a little more detail um, the way that this works is generally this port the one that's all by itself is always going to be open to one of these two depending on where this is uh, pushed down so in this instance on this particular valve Right now, this port is closed, and then the back port is open to the silencer. Um, and then when you depress the, the lever, then this port opens up to this one, and this one closes. So here's where the fun time happens. Um, if you want to have multiple shots out of a single reservoir on your QEV gun, and this is going to be determined by uh, how many shots you get is going to be determined by pressure, um, by volume of your reservoir and volume of your barrel. Um, I can go into a little more detail on that if, if you guys want, just ask and I'll try and make a video about it or something. Um, but the way you need to do this is, in my opinion, not too complicated. And I believe that, as far as I'm aware, I'm one of the first people, this is an idea that I thought up, um, I'm one of the first people to, to implement this, I believe. Um, it's really simple and it works very well and if you've watched any of my previous videos um, you can see this device in action but I'll go over it right now uh, what you need is this port as it's always closed until you depress the lever is connected to the back of your quick exhaust valve this is your this would be connected to your pilot slash fill in order to use this in a multi-shot capacity you need to fill from your reservoir side and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go to my channel and check out my previous video, uh, which is all about QEVs and how they work. So go ahead and check that out. I'll put a link to it or maybe I'll put a card to it or something. 
Um, but anyway, how you do it is you connect a reservoir, another small reservoir, to the back of the two position three-way valve. And I'll go into detail on this real quick here as well. This is a part I machined. Um, you could use uh, pipe fittings or something along those lines to make kind of the same thing. Um, you probably wouldn't have the adjustability. You'd probably just figure out what size you need and, uh, and make it. Uh, but I'll go into the way that this one works right now. So anyway, this is a tube. It's hollow on the inside. It's got an eighth inch NPT fitting. Obviously you would uh, put whatever thread you need on there if you're using eighth inch or using quarter inch or using some kind of BSP fitting. Get that, you want a tube, and then this particular one is adjustable volume. So there is a piston inside here with two O-rings, and when you thread this uh, screw in, it moves the piston up and decreases the volume, and then when you thread it out, obviously, then the piston moves back and you change the volume of the inside of this. Uh, what this does is when you attach it to that rear port on the two position three-way valve, it forms a sealed chamber. And so what happens is when you fire your quick exhaust valve by depressing this, once again, what that does is when you depress it, uh, it opens up the port from here to here and seals this one off. So when you depress this, the pilot volume behind the quick exhaust valve transfers into this chamber the pressure equalizes, you keep holding this down. The pressure, and this happens almost instantaneously as does all these things. Uh, you depress this, the volume from, the pilot volume from behind the piston in your quick exhaust valve transfers into this chamber. And then the, the pressure behind the piston equalizes because this is sealed. And then the piston in the quick exhaust valve moves forward and seals the barrel and it fills itself back up. And then when you let this lever go, then the volume that's contained inside here, which is pretty minimal, then exhausts out the front of this and through a silencer in, in this. But yeah, so that's how this works. Really simple, like I said, you don't have to make this if you don't have you know access to machines to make this. You could just make uh, a tube that's open at one end and closed on another that's a fixed volume and that would work fine. You could mess around with the volumes that it is to get you know, the desired uh, shot output. The only reason that I have this one is by turning this in or out, I can adjust uh, the volume inside here and thereby adjust uh, how long the quick, uh, the quick exhaust valve is open, therefore varying the power of the shot. Um, so yeah, like I said, the same thing is gonna apply to this guy. This is just a bigger version um, and this one's operated by a toggle, a large toggle lever. Uh, I'm hoping that once it warms up here in the spring, I'm going to incorporate this into uh, a very large uh, quick exhaust valve launcher. I'm pretty excited about that, but we'll touch on that once it warms up. And so anyway, this video is getting long, so I'll try and wrap it up here. This guy here is also more or less a two position three-way valve it has two positions and it has three ways however um, in the way that this one works this one has limited functionality because um, it only has two ports that you can thread into whereas this one has three um, what that does or doesn't enable you to do is unfortunately with this valve this one has a couple limitations for the things that i like to do uh, one of those is you can't attach a sealed chamber to it um, so this one, in the way that I like to design my guns, you can't do multiple shots with it. Uh, but I will describe how this one works as well. So in this position here, this moves forward and backwards. In this position here, the, it's a hollow tube, and the air is able to flow directly from here to here. So from one side to the other. Um, when you move the slide back, and this is called the slide valve for obvious reasons, when you move the slide back, it plugs this port and it opens up this port to atmosphere. Um, like I said, there are a couple limitations to this. Number one, uh, at least with this particular valve, there 
you can't really operate it after 300 PSI. The, the issue with this is it's a balanced spool valve is kind of what it is. Um, there's two O-rings inside here and when it's in this forward position, uh, there's actually pressure built up on the inside of this valve and it takes, uh, due to the fact that there's 300 PSI of pressure inside of that, it takes a lot of force and able uh, to move it backwards um, and it really messes with you after 300 PSI. It gets extremely hard to press backwards and depending on how this is mounted, um, with it so hard to press back, you know, you'll the force required is going to move your barrel and you're going to miss your shot, things like that. Uh, like I said, the other issue with it um, for the way that I design my guns is that you can't attach anything to the output here. It just vents to atmosphere. There's no way to attach anything to the output when it's in this position. So, uh, but you can use this for, for single shot use and under 300 PSI, it's a great valve. You can find them for dirt cheap on eBay. You can find any of these for pretty cheap on eBay or Amazon or uh, anywhere you're looking. Um, but the way that this would work uh, in a single shot QEV is that you'd have your um, chamber connected to this side, uh, you'd have your air supply connected to this side, and then you would thread this into the back of your QEV, and so when it's like this, it fills up your QEV into its chamber, and then when you slide this back, then it seals off your air supply and then the pilot volume behind the QEV vents to atmosphere and that's it. So yeah, anyway, as per usual, hope this was uh, informational and educational. If you have any questions, feel free to comment uh, and I will try and get back to them as quickly as possible. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to give a like, subscribe if you haven't already, check out my previous videos. I have a couple different guns I've designed and I have uh, information on quick exhaust valves and good stuff like that. So anyway, uh, that'll be it for this. See you on the next one. Take care.